hello all welcome back to my channel so this video will be on how to perform factory data reset on these android devices so first go to settings now here you need to scroll down till android settings click go to settings now here you can see an option backup and reset so in that just click on factory data reset so it says what all things are going to be reset so just click on reset vehicular platform and it says erase everything so just click on it so the main reason to perform factory data reset is uh, previously in past two three days I have been facing an issue that these devices used to get stuck on the boot animation and the home screen didn't used to get loaded uh, this might be because there were number of updates like Play Store updates, Map, Google Maps updates and other apps which I have installed on the device and since it's only 1GB device that is the reason it might have faced a lower RAM issue and that might be a cause so just to quick fix it factory data reset is the best option if it has actually a software issue it would be resolved but let's say if it, it has an hardware issue then the issue would exist. So let's check after the factory data reset is done whether the device is working correctly or not. So as you can see the factory data reset is completed. So now since this is the first boot up uh, the device might take some time to respond. So see it gives all those messages so just click on yes and I agree to any options it okay so yet it has to take the time for G through GPS so let's check whether it is working or not click on settings GPS settings here you go just click on refresh are you sure to restart the GPS click on yes so this will restart the GPS and get the signals and the time and date all those would be updated accordingly now the next thing remains is you need you need to set up your play store that is to log in via gmail so i'll quickly do the setup things and i'll show you any other settings that need to be done